Upper state finals night on this Thanksgiving weekend in the 5A upper state bracket. The man Patriots having a dream season at a travel to reigning state champion Dutch Fork. Well, Scoot Watson's team has been getting it done against lots of foes so far in the playoffs and his team trying to overcome a big hurdle. He told us on Thanksgiving Day, don't count the Patriots out. And Ethan Anderson to Camden Kremens on that score. Man building the early advantage later. Anderson, Michael McClellan getting the yards after the catch. It is what he does. Man had a 30 to 21 lead in the fourth quarter of this game. Trenton Lodge, though, goes for the touchdown for Dutch Fork. They then get a late field goal to win it. Heartbreaking end of the season for Mann, which closes out at 11-3, falling 31-30 in 5A. Dutch Fork will play White Knoll for the state title. Good evening, everybody. So, here we are. Other teams trying to punch their tickets to Orangeburg, where they're holding the state titles at SC State this year. And in the 3A upper state, you had a backyard battle of unbeatens. Daniel. Uh, Two-time state champion already in this decade going at it against BHP. Both of them 13-0. Second quarter less than a minute after Daniel took the lead. Here comes Marquez Henderson. The Bear cuts outside 43 yards, 17-14. BHP back on top. Under a minute to play opening half. Colton Chapman showing you that he can use some power. 21-17 Lions at the break. Then Tory Shaw with power of his own. Five-yard score in the third, 28-17. Daniel, first play of the fourth. Henderson off the direct snap, 28-23. Under four to go, Daniel, third and 18. Omari Jackson with the strip of Chapman. And the Bears take over at the Lions, 29, but just over a minute to go. And now Henderson gives it up to Jamarian Williams. And after Daniel had their hearts broken last year in the playoffs tonight, they're the ones with a close win, moving on to the state title game, 28-23. We got to play complimentary football. I thought we did a great job of that. Uh, one, one hand washed the other tonight. Proud of my guys, proud of the effort they gave. Hard fought game. I can't say enough about how proud I am of their effort and their execution. At 14 0, Jeff Fruster's team now plays Camden next weekend, looking for another 3A crown. In the 4A upper state final, also area teams going at it. Earlier this season, Westside got the win at Serene Stadium when they knocked off Greenville on its home field. Well, tonight, it's Greenville paying a visit to the Rams and Westside trying to win a 13th straight game and get back to a state championship game for the first time in a long time. Well, and Westside building a lead, Cutter Woods on the touchdown, 35-21 third quarter, but Bryson Drummond to Carmelo Canty, and that tied it at 35, forcing overtime in the OT. D. Robertson, the handoff gets into the end zone, 42-35 Westside. Greenville had a chance to tie. Jamar Boston, though, comes up with a pick of Drummond, and that seals the deal. So in a game that ends up 42-35, over 70 points scored, here's what Brian Lane, the winning head coach, had to say afterwards. Fitting in, you know, our defense held right there at the end. You know, our defense has been challenged all year, and we needed a defense to stop. So this story is all about defense tonight. A big D for a guy known for being an excellent offensive coach. Westside's moving on to a state title game. They're going to try to win the 4A crown against reigning champ. South Florence coming up next weekend. In the 2A upper state, Abbeville a couple years ago suffered its most recent loss to a 2A school against Gray tonight. Panthers had to travel down to the Midlands and take on a very tough team. Well, Abbeville striking first, little trickery, and Elijah Owens halfback pass to Carson Norman. 6 0 lead, extra point, no good. War Eagles got off to a slow start, and Brian Sanders making Tyler Waller pay with the interception in the opening quarter. That didn't amount to anything. Later, Gray's up 13 to 6 as they play in the third. There's to Marcus Lee, just sprint around the corner, off to the house. 13 to 12 game, but Abbeville denied the two point conversion and then Gray pulls away to the win. Gray ending the Panthers season at 12 and 2. 27 to 12 is the final. Gray is moving on to face another charter school, Oceanside Collegiate, the team Abbeville beat last year for the state title. 1A Upper State Playoffs, a backyard battle between rivals, and for a second time this season, St. Joe's had to make the trip to Christ Church. Cavalier team trying to make it six straight in the series. Couple of 11 and two ball clubs going at it. St. Joe's actually built an early six nothing advantage. Tucker Hendricks though, looking and finding Jude Hall and the big fella who had a big touchdown against St. Joe's in the regular season makes it seven six Cavs. Second quarter, little option, Jackson rep. Multiple touchdowns on the night. There's one of them. Nice cutback, 14 to six game. Later in the second quarter, Deshaun Reeder. 
looking to cap off his career with another state title before he hits the Big Ten in Northwestern. That made it 28 to 6 and the Cavaliers, the reigning state champs, will go defend their title next weekend as they go on to a decisive win 53 to 20. Guys are ready. They were excited to play upper state championship against St. Joe's. Ton of respect for those guys. They're tough, man, but our guys are ready. And now ready to play the team they beat last year, Johnsonville. Be fun to hear the postgame comments from Johnsonville's head coach. He was colorful last year, but Quinn Hatfield and crew doing a great job. They're 12 and 2 looking to win another state crown. Meanwhile, Western North Carolina, 3A North Carolina playoffs West and in Hickory. Truett Manuel and Wes Henderson trailing. Manuel tries to get his team back in the game. That's a 64 yarder. Phenomenal season for a team that went into the game 13 and 0, but Brady Stober to Jamie and Little part of Hickory's win as they end West Henderson's season at 13 and 1. Hickory's moving on to play Fayetteville 71st in the next round with a 28-16 win.